Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video, let's see how to create a Contabo account. How to sign up on Contabo. So what is Contabo? Contabo is a cloud provider. They offer VPSs, VDSs and dedicated servers. If you come here, you're going to see that there are VPSs, VDSs and all these others, Windows VPS, cPanel VPS, and there are also dedicated servers. But mostly, you'll just find that you're setting up a VPS. So you can click here under VPSs to see the, op to see the options that are available. There are these new options with auto backups. And there are also these other options which don't have automatic backups. So if you were to select auto backups, you'll see the price is slightly higher, but you get automatic backups with this option. For this, I can set up the Cloud VPS 10, which will come with three virtual CPUs and 8 GB of RAM. So to buy it, you can click on select. And here I see they're trying to upsell something. What are they trying to upsell? Okay, they want me to upgrade from this option to this option. And you can see this option has six virtual CPUs. And that is the price as compared to this. I'm just going to continue with the option that I've currently selected. VPS 10. You can select the settings that you need for your Contabo VPS. The first item is your term. So if you'll be paying monthly, that's what you'll pay. If you'll be paying annually, that's what you'll be paying. So it's up to you if you want to get these discounts. And then for the region, you can also select the data center. For example, if you want to go with the UK, you can see that there is an added data center price there. So for example, the price right now is 536. If I was to select United Kingdom, the price will go up. So I'll stick with the European Union, which is probably, I believe, Germany. And the storage type, so depending on what you want to run, you can go with a normal SSD or you can go with NVMe. You can also get 150 GB NVMe for additional two euros and 20 cents. And then for your image, select the image you want i always use debian let's see debian is not on the first page but if you click here under oss you can see you can select debian 12 so that's the one i'm going to select so data protection automatic backups so you can also enable this you can enable automatic backups it will add an additional cost but backups are important, so make sure you enable backups. I can select it to add it. Bandwidth. So the bandwidth, essentially, they say it's unlimited. And you also have to see that it's 200 Mbits per second, megabits per second. IPv4 address. You can usually get an additional address if you need to. So you'll get your one IP plus one additional IP. And usually it's that price, 4 euros. You can select that and it's going to add a second IP. And then the add-ons, you need object storage. Maybe you want to do backups. That's something else, but we're not going to go with that. This is a different product that they offer. And this is called Contabo Object Storage. And that's the price, 250 GB, 500 GB, and so on. And then for the server management, of course, you want to go with the unmanaged because the managed is that. I offer a similar service. You can look at it on my website. We handle everything, support, maintenance, setting up the server, and so on. And then for monitoring, you can monitor, full monitoring. I don't know what they offer in this. I don't know what they offer with this option. The scope of what the monitoring covers so i'm just going to go with none and then as for the login password you can generate a new password make sure you save this password because 
chances are they will not send it to you. After all that, this is the final price for my server. So today I will be paying that. Monthly, I will be paying that. Sometimes you'll find that this varies because you might find there's an offer. Sometimes they usually give offers for the servers. Not much, but just something noticeable. And you might find that your pricing is different from mine, but it will almost be the same as that. I can click next. So the next step is for me to create my Contabo account. So I'm new to Contabo. While I'm here, so there's something I want to address here about Contabo. And that is, if you don't have a product with Contabo, they will delete your account. I don't know that that has changed, but I'm working with that assumption. So if you have an if you had an account and you stopped using Contabo for a while, they will delete your account if you don't have any product in your dashboard. The next time you want a product from Contabo, you probably have to create a new account. That's why I don't do a lot of Contabo tutorials because my account was closed. And that has led me here today, creating a new account. So you can create a private individual account or a business account. I'm just going to go, I'm going to go with private individual account. And then I will fill in all these details. If I select business, what are the details that I need to fill? Business name, last name, city. Okay. Let me just go with the private individual account. So let me fill in these details and then we'll come back and continue to the payment for Contabo. So the only thing I can show you here is the phone number. Make sure your phone number has a valid country code. Has a valid country code prefix at the beginning. You know your prefix for your country. Make sure you add that there. And then eventually you have to choose a payment method. You can pay via PayPal or one of your cards, credit or debit card. For me, I'm going to use PayPal. So if I click on PayPal, I'll be able to log in and make the payment. I'm just going to click on order and pay. Contabo being a European company, depending on where you are, it's probably not going to create the account automatically. It's going to ask for some details such as your physical location, proof of address, something like that. So let's just wait and see if they're going to ask me for such details. I'm just going to close that. All right, your payment order has been received and is currently being provisioned. Expected provisioning times, web space three hours, VPS and VDS three hours, but don't believe that depending on if they request for additional information, of course, it might take longer. Of course, it might take longer. I'm just going to wait and when I get the details from Contabo, I will show you how you can access your server. So that didn't take long. They've just sent me all the details I need. So let's go and log in and see how we can access our server. So for now, this is my IP. Let's just see if the IP is accessible. Control L. Let's do ping. Control Shift V. Okay, the IP is accessible. That means I can log into my server. Shift at. Control Shift V. Enter. Type yes to accept. So if you're on Windows, Download Git and then open Git Bash and you can do what I've just done here. SSH into your server easily. Let me get my password. This is the one I created when I was deploying the server. Control Shift V to paste on my terminal. And just like that, I'm logged in. So if you're on Windows, as I've said, make sure you download Git and then install it and then open Git Bash. So git, git for Windows, don't use party, just download git and use git. Click here to download and install and then open git bash and you can log in. 
using SSH, user, and IP, and the password that you set up. If I want to log into the dashboard, if I can remember correctly, it's my.contabo. Contabo.com. My.contabo.com. My.contabo.com. Enter. So I can't remember my password. I can't remember my password. So I'm just going to reset the password. So the password has been sent. A new password has been sent to me. They probably sent it in the last one as well. I just didn't think to check. Log in. You can see the Contabo dashboard. So there's a new customer portal. So let's just go to the new Contabo portal. Okay. To access the new portal, I need to set up a new password link to change the password. Click here to proceed. New password. Submit back to application. Okay, so this is a new Contabo dashboard. You can make it dark mode. If you click there, you can add different services, but this is just going to take you to the front end. And then different services are here. If you want to manage the VPS, you can click there on more and you can do different things. You can reset the credentials for that server. Let's click on it and see what we can do. So there you have your IP. And IPv6. Mm -hmm.